thing you could do, I could do better. I can do any, I can, I can do any, I can, I can do anything better than you, better than you. I was the man on guard, yeah, couldn't tell me nothing I, Smooth operator, my jack, pushing buttons I, Seeking fame, I was insecure Somebody love me, going backwards in my life Call me, call me Benji Button oh, See what I want, it's so Got to have it, I don't care who it belongs to Baby, I'm a grab it, grab it Cover teen, another undercover, it's a habit I, tread Hey, nothing you can say Can I wait? All right, here we go. It is MVP versus Sam. It is a best two out of three pinfall matchup. That means that someone here needs to get two pinfalls or submissions on the other to become the winner. That's right. We're not stopping after one pin. You need to get two. And we'll see if this goes to a third and final fall if these men end up being one and one here. Oh, looks for the big drop kick as MVP moved out of the way. MVP had Sam absolutely scouted after they tag teamed earlier in this uh, BYTW final show here. He lifts him up. Could be going. Oh, Sam has that move scouted as well. Oh, brings him back down with a backbreaker. Goes for the cover. Cover one, two, and MVP kicks out. Let's take a look at the replay here. MVP was going for that backbreaker um, and then body slam movement here, but Sam was able to reverse. He had that move scouted just like MVP had the drop kick scouted earlier in the matchup. And there's a big suplex by Sam as he kicks the hips over. That can only mean one thing here. He's going to look for the three amigos. Boom, and he drops them down with two. There is one more. Let's see if he can get that last that last suplex in. And yes, he does. He gets three suplexes. And look at the athleticism as he kicks up right afterwards, goes up, and drops a knee right into the chest of MVP. He drops a knee right into the chest. One, two, and there's a kick out by MVP. Sam, oh, stomp it right on the foot. You could see the absolute athleticism by Sam. As he go, oh my god, he just got decked. He took a little bit too much time backing off of MVP, and MVP just absolutely decks him with a clothesline. I know, as he had the camel clutch locked in, but Sam drops him back. He's trying to look for a pin cover, but MVP's fighting back up. He was not allowing both shoulders to go down to the down to the ground for it to be a pinfall, which was great maneuvering by MVP. And now Sam is stopping him, dropping the elbows, spins him over. It could be ankle lock. He's got the ankle lock locked in. He's got the ankle lock locked in on MVP. Ankle lock locked in on MVP. MVP's got to find a way out. Oh, 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 you see there. I think what MVP did was he was able to kick his um, heel back into the, uh, into the balls of Sam. And I think that's what broke up the ankle lock. Oh no, MVP reversed, he grabbed a hold of the hand and punched him right in the gut, spins him over, he's got the arm locked in, backs him up, and decks him with another clothesline. Sam goes over, rolls him over, one, two, throw, almost a count of three, MVP almost went up in this matchup, one to nothing, MVP almost, as you see there, he's yelling at our ref cam, uh, telling him to pick up the pace, Sam's got the shoe off, Sam's got the shoe off, he could be going for a hit, oh no, MVP ducked. MVP ducked out of the way of the shoe as he kicks him right in the gut. And now MVP's got the shoe. This could only mean one thing. This could only mean one thing. Oh my god, he just decked him with his own shoe. He just decked Sam with his own shoe. And Sam is down. Let's see, there's a replay of MVP decking Sam with his own shoe. And if he goes for a pinfall, he might go up one nothing in this matchup. He's going for the ball in. And he dropped. Oh no, Sam was able to move out of the way. MVP doing a little bit too much showboating here. As Sam drops. Oh no. Drops down the knee pad. This is going to hurt. Oh, Shining Wizard. 
Shining Wizard by Sam as he goes up and drops the knee. Drops the knee right into the shoulder. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Oh no, MVP was able to kick out the count of one. We're taking a look at the replay of the Shining Wizard. And Sam followed it right up with a big knee right into the shoulder. Sam is doing a great job of... Oh no! Oh my god, no! I was... Oh my... He's, he's making him smell the shoe. He's making him smell the shoe. That must be absolutely horrific. And I'm sure that MVP is having some Vietnam flashbacks right there. As he... Oh, drops him down. Drops him down. He could be looking for the spider bite DDT. Gets Sam up in the air. Swings him around. Spider bite DDT. Let's take a look at the replay of the spider bite DDT. Spins him around and drops him face first down onto the ground. And that could be it if MVP goes for the cover. But he wants to put a little bit of more wear and tear here on Sam. A little more wear and tear as Sam's got the chair. Oh no. He had the chair set up. Oh no. MVP set up the chair but ended up having the chair used against him as he gets DDT down on the chair. And now Sam is raining down chair shots right into the 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 uh the sternum area, right into the ribs, and oh he just slams it right on the back of MVP. Chair right onto the back of MVP. He's looking for an RKO. But MVP reverses. There's a kick. Right into the leg, knocking him down. Sam was trying to RKO him on the chair, and I'm absolutely sure that that would have been it. And now, oh no, drops him down. He just bulldogs him. He just bulldogged him right onto the chair. And there's a replay of Sam going face first onto the chair. And that could be it if MVP goes for the cover, but he's not. Once again, MVP is putting a little bit more wear and tear on. Oh no, there's the kick. There's the kick as Sam, Sam hops right over him. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Sam did it. Sam is up one nothing. Sam is up one nothing in this two out of three falls matchup. And you see here, here's the replay. MVP again getting caught up and beating down on Sam and not going for the cover. So Sam was able to roll right over him. Sam was able to roll right over him and go up 2 nothing Or 1-0, I'm sorry. He goes up 1-0 in the 2 out of 3 falls match. If Sam can get one more pinfall, that'll be it. Oh no, there's the kick to the stomach. He's got him over. Playmaker, playmaker. He destroyed him with the playmaker. Cover, 1, 2, 3... And MVP was able to do it. The series is now tied 1-1. Sam fell for the same thing that happened with MVP. He did a little bit too much showboating and he was dropped down. And now it is 1-1 instead of Sam being up 1-0. And MVP is showboating again. You think that these two men would learn. He gets him. RKO. Oh my god, he did it on the chair. I didn't even notice that the chair was there. But Sam RKO'd him on the chair. one Two, oh, and MVP was able to kick out at the count of two. Take a look at the replay. MVP was doing a lot of showboating, and Sam was able to drop down with the RKO on the chair. RKO on the chair by Sam. He's got a hold. Oh, rolls him over. One, two, and there's the kick out. MVP trying to beat Sam the same way he was beaten earlier with a quick roll up, but that did not work here for the third and final fall. Whoever gets this is going to win the matchup. We're tied 1 1. Sam comes flying in with a big flying forearm shot right into the head of MVP, and now he's locking in a submission hold. He's locking in a, a, a reverse triangle chokehold uh, a variation of the triangle chokehold is locked in and if MVP taps this will be the end of the match and now Sam is throwing some hard shots onto the chest of MVP and that's exactly what he needs to do here and whoa MVP comes up and just clips Sam right in the ears and that definitely had to hurt Sam is back up he's trying to get back to his feet he backed up off of the submission hold after being clamped and there's Sam comes running. Oh, he gets baseball. Oh, my God. He gets dropped right onto the chair. He just gets dropped right onto the chair. He came running in, and MVP tripped him face first onto the chair. And we got to wonder how many times are these men going to go head first. Oh, he just gets slammed. He gets slammed into the chair. And this could be MVP's uh, the, uh, movement here. This could be MVP's big comeback to try to go two and one against Sam here. He needs to win the pinfall. Whoever gets the pinfall here is going to win the match. And there's the kick by Sam. He's locking it in. These two warriors. He's looking for an RKO on the chair. Boom! RKO on the chair. RKO on the chair. Goes for the cover. One, two. No, MVP kicked out. These two men are fighting like never before for this final fall as we take a look at the replay of him being RKO'd onto the chair. And I cannot believe that MVP was able to kick out of that move. Both men are down. Both men gotta fight back up to their feet 
to try to win this matchup. It has been a great back and forth matchup. We are tied 1-1 in a 2 out of 3 falls match. He ducks. MVP with the kick. Playmaker could be it. Oh no. Swings out of it. Grabs a hold of him. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. And he's not finishing off there. He's got the Anaconda Vice. Anaconda Vice locked in. Anaconda Vice locked in. He's Oh no. Mo moves back. He's got it. Oh no. He's got the arm bar locked in on Sam. Arm bar fully extended. You can see there he's got the arm and the legs fully extended. And Sam had absolutely no choice but to tap out. You see him tapping there. And MVP. Let's go of the arm bar. MVP went up. 2-1 in this matchup. He fought back from a 1-0 deficit. He fought back to get two pinfalls and submissions straight in a row. And MVP is the winner. He's showing a sign of respect like everybody has been doing here today at BYTW. Oh no! He's looking for the playmaker! No, I can't believe he would do this! Oh, wait. Uh, it looks like MVP was just toying with Sam toying with the audience, and there's the show of respect we've been seeing all day today at BYTW's final show. 